This is Banjo and today I'm taking a look at the support modules and how to set them up for use in your missions. For the example I've placed one support requester as well as all of the available support providers. The first step is to place down playable units into the map and synchronize them with the support requester which can be found in modules, support, support requester. The parameters available for the support requester dictate how often the support can be used. In this case I'm going with default values. With the support requester module placed and set up we can now place our support providers. Go into modules, support, support provider and place down the support provider you wish to add into your mission. Each provider has two options, one being physical and one being virtual. The differences between the support provider modules are that standard provider modules require a physical unit to be synchronized with the module, whereas a virtual provider does not. With the provider's place, synchronize them to the support requester. For the example, we'll use a transport helicopter for supply drop. For helicopter close air support, we'll use gunship helicopters. For bombing run, we could see a fixed wing aircraft. For transport, we have another transport helicopter. And for our mortar team, we have a set of three static mortars, synchronized to a group leader, synchronized to the support provider for mortar support. Now that we have our units synchronized to their appropriate support providers, all synchronized to the support requester, the final step is to synchronize all the units you want to give support options to, to the support requester. To call for support, enter the support menu by pressing 0, select the appropriate Requesting support, and select the location on the map. Over. Alternatively, you're able to back. call in support on an area you have in sight. In this case, I'll be using binoculars to sight the area. First, select the area. Go into your support menu by pressing Zero, select the support, close air support at the designated and the support location. will be called in on the target position. And calling in supports visually as opposed to using your map to mark the location, you'll lose a certain degree of accuracy. So it's always best to mark target positions for support using the map rather than visually. And with that, we can see the support modules function with the gunships attacking their target and the artillery splashing down on its target. You can call in supports any number of times, provided that the aircraft has not been destroyed. If it has, then you will lose the ability to call in that particular support.